Hey Loco sports fans and WHHI viewers, hope the weekend left you better than it found you as we embark on the Monday edition of Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. The first Dixie Youth Baseball District title of the summer is on the line tonight at Burton Wells Park in Beaufort, where the Hilton Head Ozone All-Stars are one win away from another trip to the 12U State Tournament. The Island Boys won a thriller over Bluffton on Friday, 8-6 in extra innings. So they have the upper hand going into the rematch at 5.30 p.m. Monday. If Bluffton, which has one loss, wins the first one, they'll run them right back for the if necessary game against the previously undefeated Hilton Head team to determine the district title. Should be great baseball this evening in Beaufort and you might get to see a future big leaguer or even a future Savannah Banana. The Bananas finished a three game sweep of the Macon Bacon on Friday before knocking off the Wilmington Sharks and the Asheboro Zookeepers over the weekend to run their winning streak to five games and their Coastal Plain League best record to 11-2. The Nanners head to Florence to face the Flamingos on Tuesday. When we left you on Friday, we had three loco golfers competing in the prestigious Dogwood Invitational in Atlanta, but only one made it to the finish line. Hilton Head Christian Academy alum and Virginia Tech Hokie Daniel Aslan shot three straight rounds of two under 70 before finishing with a 71 to tie for 24th at seven under. Solid showing for Aslan, while Alabama's Jonathan Grizz and Clemson's Andrew Swanson both missed the 54-hole cut. That does it for today's edition of Last Night in the Loco. We'll be back tomorrow to round up the biggest stories from the Low Country sports scene. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!